This is the micro homily for the 17th of August. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. Ezekiel was a sign to the people. Those who have experienced some catastrophic disaster, a famine, a siege, genocide, report that the normal ways you mourn the loss of a loved one just vanish. When everyone is losing someone day after day, when you fear your turn is within the next few days, those ways that we grieve, they disappear. Ezekiel was experiencing that now to warn the people that was on the horizon for them, despite all of the false prophets seducing them into complacency. No, a reckoning was coming. And if only a few had amended their lives in response to Ezekiel's prophecy, he'd have counted it worthwhile. If that young man had only owned a spare tunic and a couple of eating vessels, how quickly he'd have responded. He'd have followed Jesus. He would have been with Jesus town by town, hearing his words, seeing his miracles. But no, he was a rich young man, so he went away sad. There's a truth that's rediscovered in every generation. There's a song by Papa Roach with the lyrics, the things you own, own you. That was that rich young man. He'd given his heart to his possessions, so he couldn't give his heart to Jesus. God forbid that we should be possessed by our possessions and so be unable to follow where Jesus desires to lead us. One of the ways of limiting the danger of that is to limit the number of possessions that we surround ourselves with.